can welcome everyone to the fourth meeting in 2019 of the Dele Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is consideration of two SSIs laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act. The uh, committee is considering these instruments in terms of the SSI protocol. Uh, we are therefore considering the scrutiny procedure under which they've been laid and the categorisation applied to them by the Scottish Government. So the first one is SSI number 2019-6. And the purpose of this is to correct deficiencies in licensing legislation arising from the withdrawal of the UK from the EU. It's been laid under the negative procedure and it's been categorised by the Scottish Government as of medium significance. Um, our advisers indicate that it may be considered uh, as of being of low significance because it's clear there's no significant policy decision for ministers to make. Um, do members have any comments on that? No. So is the committee content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure has been applied to this instrument? Okay. And does the committee wish to recommend the instrument should be categorised as of low significance? Agreed. Okay. Um, and the next one is SSI number 2019-9, and the purpose of this one is to provide the necessary technical corrections to regulations relating to aquatic animal health and aquaculture regulations. It's been laid under the negative procedure and it's been categorised by the Scottish Government as of low significance. No issues have been raised by our advisers. Do members have any comments on this? No. Okay. Uh, so are we content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure has been applied to this instrument? Content. And are we content with the category assigned to this instrument? Content. Okay. Gender item two uh, is consideration of another instrument laid under the European U Union Withdrawal Act. Um, it's the Draft Public Pro Pro Procurement, etc. Scotland Amendment, uh, EU Exit Regulations. The general purpose of this is to address deficiencies in retained EU law relating to public procurement which arise from withdrawal. The in instrument's been laid as an affirmative, as required under the 2018 Act. It's been categorised by the Scottish Government as of medium, medium significance. Our advisers have indicated it may be categorised as high on the ground that in accordance with the SSI protocol. Some provisions create or amend powers to legislate, including the transfer of some EU legislative powers to Scottish ministers. Any comments from members? No. So does the committee wish to recommend the instrument be categorised as of high significance? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, the next agenda item is consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. Uh, and the first one is the draft genetically modified organisms, deliberate release, etc. Uh, regulations. Uh, although no points have been raised by our legal advisers on this instrument, uh, members may wish to note the instrument was withdrawn and relayed following questions that our legal advisers raised in advance of the instrument appearing on our agenda. Uh, the next three instruments all arise from the new powers recently devolved to the Parliament under the Social Security Act. Scotland, our legal advisers have not raised any points on these draft instruments. Uh, I'll just tell you what they are. The, the Funeral Expense Assistance Scotland regulations and uh, a couple um, uh, of regulations that deal with early years assistant best start grants. Is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. Uh, agenda item four, and uh, this is the final item of business, is consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. Uh, we've already considered two of these instruments this morning under the SSI protocol. We're now considering the technical aspects of these SSIs to ensure that they're fit, fit for purpose. Our legal advisers have not raised any points on SSIs 2009, 6, 7 and 9. So is the committee content with these? Content. Okay. And I'll close the meeting.